really want to show you how to do stairs. And now the reason why I want to show you how to do stairs because stairs, they're extremely easy to do, but you have to follow all the steps. If you don't follow all the steps and post-production or viewing the uh, virtual tour and the final product, it would not work. And I mean by you want to be able to walk down the stairs or walk upstairs um, naturally. You will have to kind of do some things in the back end just to be able to view those spaces, which most users will not do and they were just saying that they're not able to walk down the stairs. I know that was a long-winded answer to you know tell it, but I'm gonna show you how to properly do stairs so you don't have to go back and reshoot a house just because you simply forgot one or two steps on it. So let's head over to the basement so I can do that. When I'm going up the stairs or down the stairs, I always lower my tripod for a few different reasons. First, a little bit easier to manage going up or down stairs uh, with a tripod not as wide and big, but also it has more of a natural viewing. Remember earlier, or when we all started, I said the virtual tour, everything would be natural eyesight. Well, when you're going up and down stairs, you have to also remember that so it doesn't look weird. So I'm gonna show you how to do steps by first dropping the tripod. So on mine, you can do it however way. Mine on the second foot, I lift that bad boy all the way up again and kind of lock them in place once more. Okay. And now you can also go much lower. That's just my flow here. And now to go downstairs, this is what I'm thinking. Let me put this down so I can show you what I'm thinking. Going downstairs, I always face the camera on the natural way the user would be looking. So if we're going to the basement, Typically, you're looking down, going to the basement, okay? So I, I don't want the camera like this going down, because that's just weird. I'm going down, so I want my camera pointed going down. And you will see here, let me drop this here. Okay, so I have my two legs in the back. You want to start at the top, which we did in the beginning, you remember? So I'm going to start at the front step. And now I'm just going to align it. Whoops, okay. As you can see here, I have two solid feet on the, uh, on the top step here. And I got one leg on the step, I guess on the first actual step here. So you always have to maintain three points of contact, obviously. Two, you know, on something solid. And of course your one leg on, um, you know, the step here. Sorry, I'm trying to get this uh, even here. And so as you can see, like with steps, since you're maneuvering on the legs, it just takes an extra second or two to really make sure that is even. But here we are, we are going down the steps. And now very important here, okay? On your Matterport tour, as you can see here, you have a floor indicator, okay? This is showing me I'm on floor one. This is not saying, you know, first floor, second floor, attic, okay? This is just telling the Matterport camera, you know, what floors you're going to. So a lot of people think when they start at the bottom that it says floor one that is going to mess up the final virtual tour. It doesn't. It will always start on the main floor. Even if your first floor is a basement, you start down there and you go to the second one that says, you know, upper floor or second floor. That's not the case. And the final version of the virtual tour, it will make sense. Trust me. I was worried about that in the very beginning. So anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it on floor one. We want to keep it on floor one until we break this area, okay? Once we break this area, we're going to switch it, to go to basement mode, and I'll show you that in here in just a second. So we're actually going to start the step. And I'm going to stand right over here. And remember, this scan that we are doing right now, this is still part of the main floor, but you're going to see something in here in just a second. Once I'm done scanning, I'm actually going to switch floors. And the reason for that is I want it to be a natural connection between, you know, floor one and floor two. I could start at this point right here as a basement floor, but I don't want to do that. And when you start from the bottom work up, this part is, seems a lot easier because you're not even thinking about this one. So we got the scan point. Uh, let's find it right here. Boom. Do you see how on the picture I'm still on floor one? That's the reason why we haven't changed floors yet. 
So boom, stalling that one. Now I'm gonna go down the steps a little bit. Remember, we're walking down the stairs. So the natural field of view is down, okay? Not this way, it just wanna make sense. So now on stairs, I usually do it every third or fourth step, but very important, either at the start of the stairs or the bottom of the stairs, you have to do a couple more scans just to ensure everything connects. Trust me when I say, it is super annoying when you try to speed through it and you don't take the extra 24 seconds to get one extra scan and it makes you come back to the house to do a reshoot because you're trying to rush it. So I'm gonna do this one. So they're going down 34 stairs, I'm only going down one. Remember I'm ensuring, if you will, that there be no issues in the final product. So just like last time, I have two feet on a solid stair, one foot on the step below it. And now this one's actually gonna be my start of my basement floor. I simply click add a floor, boom. I keep it whatever the default is because it, it doesn't show it in the end, so I just keep it. Let's scan again. And this is the first scan of my actual basement scan. Okay. And so here we are, spinning all the way around. All right, one more scan here. And we will be moving uh, right down the stairs. If your stairs have curves in them, or you know, like goes down a few, has a landing, goes this way, you better make sure that you're over scanning these stairs so you don't have to come back. I've only had to go back to a property once and it was by the dumb stairs. And so I make sure I over scan stairs so I never have to do that again. Not only is it annoying, it's almost embarrassing when the agent emails you and asks you to go back. Okay, go down a couple more stairs. As you can see here, stairs become challenging when you're constantly like walking up, walking down. I could attempt to walk around it but I mean, I could also actually knock down my camera and create a whole bigger issue. So I'm gonna walk up and hide. Now we're doing our second scan of the stairs. If you guys haven't noticed already, stairs take the absolute most time when creating a virtual tour, just because you're again, over scanning, adjusting the feet, making sure the bubble level indicator is even and all that jazz. Empty rooms or you know, standard rooms like couch, chair, coffee table, you gotta fly through those. So now we're done with the second scan here. So at first I started here. My second scan, I changed a floor and I did a tight scan, meaning one step over I did another scan. For this one, I just went down two scans, did another one. Now I'm actually gonna do my regular flow and do every third step. And I count the steps by the leg, by my front leg and my tripod. So one, two, three, boom. And again, and when you start doing this, you may say, you know, doing every fourth step is all right for me. And that's great. Every third step to me works out great. And then the final uh, version, I may go through and eliminate a couple of stairs here and there um, if they're not needed. But I make sure I over scan while I'm on site just to prevent the, you know, me coming back just in case I rush through and grab a step. All right, that step's done here. Once again, one, two, three. And you can start speeding it up by, you know, since the camera's facing downward, you can press start scan and run back up the stairs. So it almost does like a full scan um, before you start hiding again. And actually, sometimes there it takes an extra second or two to actually do the scan. Not sure why. Sometimes I feel like it's trying to pull in more data. I'm not sure though. All right. So we're good to go. One, two, three. And now this is the final step. And now normally if I wasn't doing this example, I will just walk downstairs, obviously, because it's a lot closer. Um, actually, let's do that. Okay, now I decided my goal to go to the bottom of the stairs because this is what I would do naturally because I'm already down here. It doesn't make sense to keep going up. So, excuse me. Put down the stairs. We have just a couple more scan points so we can fully go through the basement here. Go ahead and start this guy right here. Again, just like I said, 43 and 4. 
guys got to do is a uh, little scanning around here, take four or five pictures or such, um, and stitch all together. And so this is another great example about the stairs because earlier, as I mentioned, when you're doing stair stairs, you can usually skip every two or three. But as you can see from that front tripod leg, if you see that toward the bottom of the screen, it's on the last stair. So how can you possibly go three or four more steps? Well, actually you don't, let me show you. Now, so using this as your indicator to do three steps, use your back ones. One, two, I'm probably gonna do one right here. As you see, my leg is way up here, extended. Okay. I'm gonna do one right here. And now you will learn this as you're going, but if I just did my last scan right here, and then I did a scan right here, because of the elevation changes and the final virtual tour, the user would not be able to naturally navigate to this bottom section. There's too much missing space on an elevated, you know, plane right here, if you will, uh, for it to connect. So I always do one right here. Again, that's why I mentioned in the beginning that stairs are super easy. You just had to follow the steps because all the steps are extremely important. My first tours, you know, I'm like, why would I overscan? It doesn't make sense. But as I started doing it and noticing that I'm missing stairs or they don't look as visually appealing as they should, that's when I realized you have to overscan these stairs because that's the only way it makes sense in the final version. So I dropped that bad, that bad boy right here. Is at the final. As you can see, we're basically at the threshold. I don't even know if I need this, but I'm doing it so I don't have to come back. Hiding right on over here. Okay. I'm just in the, uh, the other guest room here, which is actually all this now. Do my final here. And so for this little staircase, I mean, you guys see how tiny it is. We did one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is our seventh scan. Okay. Seven scans for a tiny stair staircase. I definitely didn't do that because I, you know, like scanning it. Again, I did that because it's, you know, literally almost required. But try it out. Try not doing it. And you'll see what I mean. And so now since I uh, got the bottom of the stairs, you know, there, we're actually good to go with the stairs. 